And before you start guys, as usual, don't forget if you like it, really help me create all the tutorials already only for you. And of course subscribe if you have any questions or so guess leave all the stuff in the comment section below, I try my best and read all the stuff. So let's get started. Open Minecraft Launcher as usual and go in Minecraft Java Edition Installation. Here find Udison. Uh, no Udison, tap new and type Udison YouTube. Press create. Press left mouse button on Udison and in the list find. If you install for Minecraft 1.18, choose option release 1.18. If you install for Minecraft 1.18.4, for example, choose option release 1.18.4 and so on. I hope you understand Prince. After that, press save button and press play button on Udison. Wait several seconds. After that, you must see Minecraft close Minecraft and close Minecraft launcher. Open your download section and find Forge installer. Use installer version with jar file. Uh, double check right version. If you install for Minecraft 1.18, download Forge for Minecraft 1.18. If you install for Minecraft 1.18.2, for example, choose option Forge 1.18.2. And so on. Anyway, double click. Press OK. After that, you must see something, okay, blah, 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 and cool. Also, guys, uh, don't forget, we have udison.com site where you can find tons of different text tutorials for Minecraft and another popular sandbox games and Discord where you can talk about all this cool stuff. If you successfully install it, you see this complete, this blue logo successfully installed it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, close the cool stuff. Mm, open Minecraft Launcher again. Uh, find. Wait a second. Of course, it is very laggy because it is Minecraft. Why not? <laughs> Go in installation. Here, find Forge installer. Double check this Forge in this list must have right version. If you install for Minecraft 1.18, you must see release 1.18 Forge. If you install for Minecraft 1.18.2, you must see here release 1.18.2 Forge, and so on. Also, sometimes install new version of Forge for latest version of Minecraft. It is also a uh, good idea. Anyway, uh, press this folder on the for uh, here find folder name mods. Yes, with small letters. No have this folder, not big deal. Simply create folder. Double click and open this folder. Uh, wait a second. Anyway, after that, find and download durability viewer forger, all links in video description, drag and drop this file inside mods folder. Pay attention, durability viewer forger version, not fabric, but forger. After that, close all windows, return in installation list. Activate mod edit, find new option Forge, press left mouse button here. If you install for Minecraft 1.18.1, you must see here 1.18.1 and in this list choose option 1.8, release 1.18.1 Forge. Release 1.18.1, it is mean version of Minecraft, always. So if you install this Forge mod for Minecraft 1.18.5, for example, you must choose in this list with name version release 1.18.5 Forge. And so on and so on. I hope you understand principle. Press save button, press play button, let's get started. <sighs> if you install properly in mods list, you can find a new durability viewer. Ta da! Cool. Why not test? Wait a second, guys. Very funny story, you cannot change settings for this mod in Forge version, but if you, uh, you can do this very easy if you install Fabric version, and after that Minecraft still remember settings for this mod, and you can use these settings in already in Forge version of this mod. It is extremely strange story, but anyway. You can by default press Ash button to deactivate this menu. Press Ash button, and by default uh, this menu you can find and to see in bottom right corner. In my situation in top right corner because I already set up this stuff. Anyway, now by default you see durability when you lose durability. For example creature attack you, you lose durability and you see how many durability now you have in top right corner. Also, you see these numbers near this chest. It does mean how many free spaces you have. As you can see, I placed one item 
now 40, 34. Uh, obtain another item, 33, 32, and so on. I hope you understand principle. Yes. It is extremely important when you play in PvP minigame with uh, fast pace and actions. So, to no and I think it is totally useless in normal gameplay in game mode survival in single player, but very useful for PvP minigames. Thank you for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, videos and with you. In the description you find several another information and uh, information mods <coughs> for this version of Minecraft, of course. Thank you for watching and remember also the Udison.com site with different text tutorials and videos and so on.